differentiation by definition. We have function y is equal to 2x square plus 1. There is a change in x shown with the addition of delta x. So we add delta x on right hand side which shows change in x. So that will make y change. So it will be y plus delta y. Delta y is equal to 2 times. Now whole square can be expanded. x square plus delta x square plus 2x delta x plus 1. If we shift this left hand side y on right hand side it will be subtracted. What will we have then? Delta y is equal to 2. 2 can be multiplied by it so it is 2x square. 2 delta x square. It becomes 4x delta x plus 1 minus y. What is y? We can see y is 2x square plus 1. So both will be with minus sign here. 2x square minus 1. We can see that this 2x square cancels this 2x square. 1 cancels 1. Delta y is equal to or we can take delta x common from these two. By taking delta x common, what will be here? 2 delta x it will be. 2 delta x plus 4x. And now we divide both sides by delta x. What change will that make here? Delta y by delta x on left hand side. On right hand side it is delta x. 2 delta x plus 4x by delta x. They will get cancelled. Delta x cancels delta x. After that, we apply limit on both sides. This further implies that limit of left hand side is equal to limit of right hand side. Delta x approaches 0. Delta y by delta x. Limit on right hand side. 2 delta x plus 4x. As we know students that the above form with delta x, it is known as after division by delta x, it is known as average rate of change. And applying limit it becomes instantaneous rate of change which becomes derivative denoted by dy by dx. Derivative of y with respect to x is now of the form. We will apply limit on right hand side. It is delta x becomes 0 plus 4x. So it is dy by dx is equal to 4x. If I write in place of y, what was it? d by dx of y, y was 2x square plus 1. So its derivative is 4x and this is the method to find it. Now we can see entire solution before us.